What's up guys? It's your girl Em and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. And today I'm making something super simple, a fall inspired dish. I am making pumpkin Alfredo, yes. That's right, I'm making pumpkin Alfredo. So I have like three cloves of garlic, heavy whipping cream, organic pumpkin, parmesan, some fettuccine, I got salt, pepper, and olive oil right here. So this is all I need to make this dish, very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and mince up my garlic. A very simple, easy, peasy dish to make. I mean, you could make it whenever, but this is like a perfect fall dish. Who doesn't love homemade Alfredo? And we're just gonna kick it up a notch by making it pumpkin. Now, I don't think Vaughn is going to eat this. I told him that I was gonna make it, and he was like, pumpkin Alfredo. So I'm just making enough for myself. You could always like double up the recipe if you'd like. But I'm just making enough for myself to have and maybe have like a little leftovers. So just mince up this garlic. I have minced garlic in the fridge, but honestly, you know, when you're doing like a sauce, like an Alfredo sauce, it's best to use the fresh. It's a little more annoying, yes, I know, but it will taste better. So let me cut this guy up. You know what, I might add a little bit of nutmeg too. Let me grab my nutmeg out. Grab my nutmeg. Where's it at? It's in here somewhere. That's all space. Do I have nutmeg? Oh yeah, okay. I thought I was tripping for a second. Nutmeg. All right guys, so I have some water boiling. Let me add some salt to that water for my fettuccine. All right. And now I'm gonna take two tablespoons of butter. And melt it in this pan here. My kitchen is a disaster. So I'm just gonna melt this butter. I think I could probably add my fettuccine in in a second. It's about boiling. So let me add my fettuccine. I'm not going to use that much. Let's see here. I just got my nails done. He kind of nicked my finger a couple times. So it's like a little... is a little sore because of that. Let's see. How much do I really want to make? I think this will be enough. Honestly, you can double this recipe. I'm just making a smaller amount because I'm not too hungry and also I know Vaughn isn't going to eat it. So I'm just going to kind of bend the noodles in. All right, turn this heat up just a little bit. I think you guys will like it. Okay, so I'm gonna add my garlic. About three cloves. You could do more, you could do less. Doesn't matter, get those cloves cooking. You could even add like onion in this, I guess, if you wanted, maybe. I don't know, you don't really use onion in Alfredo sauce, but hey, your kitchen, your rules. 
I'm not gonna tell you what to do. So we're gonna saute this garlic up. Ooh, that smells so good. You wanna make sure your garlic doesn't burn. Ooh, it smells divine. Garlic makes everything better. It really does. It makes everything better. So now I'm gonna take about a half a cup. So if you wanted to make more in this recipe, you could take, uh, yeah, this is half. Uh, if you wanted to make more, you could do like a full cup. Oh, this is the wrong, <gasps> oh my gosh, Emily Mansfield. I get spacey sometimes, so you gotta just bless you. Bless you, Abel. Get this canned pumpkin. And you wanna make sure it's like the unsweetened pumpkin. I, I know, you know, maybe that doesn't need to be said, but sometimes it does. Oh, and perfect timing, because my garlic is starting to burn a little bit. Woo! Okay. So now I'm gonna take my cream, my heavy whipping cream, about one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Let me take this off again. I don't want it to burn, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna take about one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, this is gonna make a very, very nice pumpkin-y situation. All right. Benito. Let's go ahead and add this back in. Now I might need to add a little more pumpkin, we'll see. But we're just gonna let this simmer kind of form and I'm gonna go ahead Ooh, this is turning like a very pale orange you can see the garlic oh yeah okay turn that up just a tad check these noodles they're getting there they're getting there now I'm gonna add a little bit of this nutmeg Just a little. You don't need too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Parmesan now. Just to kind of help the sauce like thicken up. Kind of thicken up. We're gonna let it cook for a little bit. I'm gonna kind of clean up the kitchen and I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. All right, so my sauce is starting to thicken up a bit. And I'm gonna take, I'm pretty sure my noodles are, yes, these noodles are done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the noodles straight in. And kind of allow them to cook with the sauce. Oh yeah. That looks so good. I probably could have made some more noodles, honestly. That's okay. This is my first time ever making this. So, you know, trial and error. You gotta be willing to kind of mess up sometimes when you're cooking because that's how you learn. My friends, that is how you learn. Okay. Grab the last bits of noodle. Okay. And now, oh. When I tell 
tell you, this looks phenomenal. I'm not lying. I could have used more noodles, that's for sure. But, with that being said, this looks amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna let this kind of cook together for a little bit. I'm gonna add some parm. Ooh, I made a mess. You guys, I'm such a mess today. Okay, this looks amazing. Pumpkin Alfredo, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, now my last touch. The last thing I'm about to do, I'm gonna add some parsley. Okay, kind of just take the stems off. Okay, let's see here. My trick is to like bunch them all together. Fresh parsley really brings a lot to a dish. You know, something so simple like this pumpkin alfredo, there's really not a lot to do with it. And then just to add the like bright green and the freshness of the herbs. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, let me show you guys this alfredo. My, it's a polar bear. You're not gonna see my kitchen, trust me. Okay, look at this. Look at this creaminess. It's like a light orange. It's so freaking pretty. Let me add the parsley. All right guys, moment of truth. Pumpkin Alfredo. Let's try it. Even though I'm not that hungry, I'm still gonna try it for you guys. Ignore my pimple. <laughs> Hold on, that's amazing. It's so good, it's just like faintly sweet. Ooh, you know what would be really good? Some crushed red pepper in this. Oh my God, this is so good. Make this, oh my gosh, make this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. Try some pumpkin alfredo, expand your mind. If you don't like it, it doesn't cost that much to make, so just throw it away and make regular alfredo. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Happy fall. Be sure to follow my Twitter, at man. my Instagram, at Midwest Mansfield. I have so many more cooking videos coming, so stay tuned. I have a What I Eat in a Day coming tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah. Subscribe, turn those post notifications on. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and thank you for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!